Hey everyone, my name is Emily and today we are doing a Trader Joe's taste test. I have some of their most popular new in fall food and we're going to try it and see if it's any good. I'm going to start with the only thing that's not specifically for this time of year and this is these. These are the Trader Joe's milk chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels. Now I was recommended to try these by so many people so I thought we would give it a go. I love peanut butter, I love chocolate and I actually really like pretzels as well so I, I should like these. They're quite big, oh my gosh. Can you see? They're quite a chunky size. Okay. Mm. I mean, I need a drink. They're not what I was expecting. I tried these things from Trader Joe's the other week that were like chocolate, peanut butter, and I think they were like rice crispy puff kind of thing. And they were unbelievable. These just aren't that good, I don't know why. They're just a bit meh. Do you know what I mean by that? Like they're not very Moorish. I don't eat one and be like, oh, I want another. And with snacks like this, I like them to be quite Moorish. So I would say these, these are a bit of a letdown. I'm gonna give these like a three out of 10. I would absolutely not buy those again. And I'm so sorry to those of you that told me to try them. On to the actual full snacks. We have the maple and sea salt kettle popcorn. So this should be really good. I love maple flavored things and I love salt things. Like I love a sweet and salt mix. I know. With it. Okay. It smells so good. I mean, toffee popcorn is like my favorite type of popcorn, so in theory, this should be kind of similar. Oh, it smells a bit cinnamony. Is there cinnamon in here? Mm hmm. So good. That's what I mean by Moorish. Mmm. That's a 10 out of 10. That is dangerous. I will eat this whole bag. If you have not tried this, and you have a Trader Joe's near you and you like popcorn, so freaking good. I was told to try a couple of things from the bakery section. There was these muffins that everyone said to try, some donuts, they had neither, but they did have these. So these are the chocolate mousse pumpkins. It says velvety chocolate cakes layered with a silky mousse and they're shaped like pumpkins. I feel like the only thing about them that is fall inspired is the shape because chocolate is not particularly full vibes, is it? <gasps> No, it's all over me. Honestly, that sums me up as a person. If you like these videos and you'd like to see me try more from Trader Joe's, make sure you subscribe and give this video a like so I know, and then I'll do another. But in the UK, I taste test food from Mox and Spencer's. That's like my go-to place. So I guess this is now my go-to place in the US. So let's try this. Mmm, so good. It tastes like something in the UK. Oh my gosh. The Cadbury's roll things. What are they called? You know what I mean. Leave it in the comments down below. The Cadbury roll things that come in the little individual packet taste exactly like that. Oh my goodness. So freaking good. Not full inspired at all, apart from the shape, but really yummy. I'm a bit concerned about these. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. So these are the pumpkin tortilla chips. Crafted with simple ingredients, including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon and nutmeg. Just like a spiced, Pumpkin chip. You know what it smells like? This is really niche. If anyone's ever been to Whistler to the Fairmont Hotel, it smells like the restaurant downstairs. <laughs> that is not necessary. No, 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 not needed. I don't understand what you would eat these with. I'm like, is there a serving suggestion? It says have with salsa or a yogurt based dip. I would say maybe don't have them at all. They taste like pumpkin and cinnamon, but in a crisp. Now I love salty and sweet. I've literally just told you that, but this is like salty and sweet vegetable, but not like, like I love a beetroot vegetable crisp. Amazing, yum, sweet, salty, but this is like sweet, salty and cinnamon. It's, it's, sorry, <laughs> it's a no from me. One out of 10, would not buy again. I enjoy the crunch, but that's about it. Next up, we have the pumpkin ravioli. It says thin stuffed pasta with a cheesy pumpkin filling. Now this I'm excited about. I think this will be really good. It's like, pumpkin doesn't really taste as much, does it? So I feel like the pumpkin's gonna make the cheese a bit like bulkier. So it should be like creamy, cheesy, vegetable-y pasta. But it also says honey roasted, and that I don't understand. Let's cook it. I don't know why, but in my head, it looks like cartoon food. Like it looks like something they get on recess on Disney Channel or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's the colors, but in the UK, we don't have things this brightly colored. I don't know if it's like food laws or something like that, but I've never eaten a pasta this bright. 
Oh, it's sweet. I'm not sure. I don't like it, but I understand it. Which is weird because I love sweet things with cheese. I love like cranberry and cheese, fig and cheese. Don't like this. I just think it's way too sweet. I don't know how someone could eat a whole plate of something that sweet. And it doesn't taste cheesy and I love cheesy pasta. Maybe with like a sauce of some sort, but that's not very nice. I'm sorry if this is one of your favorite snacks. I've seen people air fry these. So let me know, maybe I need to try and like air fry the rest of the pack, but I don't know. These are like a two out of 10 for me. Oh, it's not going very well, is it? And finally, the thing that I think I'm the most excited about. This is the hand twisted cinnamon sugar bread. Oh my goodness, this sounds like a dream. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut this up, heat it up because that's how I would eat it. And I feel like, I don't know, it needs some type of like icing on top or something, like a cinnamon bun or a cinnamon roll. But I'm obviously not gonna do that. But what I am gonna do is cut a slice and heat it up in the microwave because I think it's gonna make it taste 10 times nicer. This smells ridiculous. Please tell me that doesn't just look unbelievable. Okay. It's hot. Oh my gosh. Mm. That is literally the best thing I've eaten in months. Mm. 100% heat it up because it just tastes unbelievable. I think it would just taste like bread with a bit of cinnamon if it wasn't hot, but this is so good. Oh my gosh, this is like a 10 out of 10. Easy. You could make this into the best French toast ever. I might actually try that because I have another half a loaf left. Like genuinely, so good. I'll be getting another loaf of this. Oh. I hate that it's seasonal and they don't do this all the time. So good. So that's everything I have to try this time. If you'd like to see me do it again, please do make sure you subscribe. And if you have any recommendations of things you want me to try, the comments are open. Go and fill them, please. But I really hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.